This is the tale of a young girl named Cora, whose son had disappeared somewhere. Then she meets a man who made her believe that she will get her son back, even if he won't exist in this world. Now, we are shown a house, which was sealed by the police from all sides. A lady officer comes to that house, who was looking at everything very carefully. Then we hear a call in the background, which was of Cora, in which she was just saying, that come quickly, help me. She was very scared. She says that there is someone in her house, who is not letting her go out. When the police comes to that house, the house was in a strange atmosphere. The whole house was scattered. There were bloodstains, but there was no one's dead body there, and no one was killed. There was a circle made of salt on the floor. The lady officer was checking all this in Cora's house. She was her sister. After investigating everything, she comes to the police station and investigates to ask Cora because there was blood on her body too. First she doesn't say anything, but after asking a lot, she tells everything. She says that I was doing all this just to get my son back. Cora's sister says that you are in your senses. Don't you know, your son was missing seven years ago, and maybe he is not even alive now. Her sister asks her, whose blood is this, Cora? She still doesn't say anything. What happened to Cora after all? We are shown the story of her past, the time when her son was missing. Cora was an irresponsible mother. She used to take an illegal substance all the time. She used to live with a boy, who was her friend. She used to take an illegal substance with him all the time. Their financial situation was not good either. So they were ready to do anything wrong for money. One day, the police came to Cora's house. Cora and her friend were scared. They felt that the police had come to catch them. But they asked Cora, do you know where your son is? Cora says he must be in his room. But when they see, they find out that he was not there. Now a team is ready to find Cora's son. One team is sent to the jungle, while the other was looking for him here and there. But after that, Cora's son could not be found anywhere. Only his one shoe was found. A few years had passed since this incident. Cora was now a part of a group. All of them were such people who had lost their children. Cora tells her story to all of them. She says that after my son's disappearance, I quit a legal substance. But my son will never come back from this. She started living at her mother's house. There she had also kept a room for her son. Because somewhere she felt that her son would definitely come back. Cora's sister, who had become a police officer, also tried to talk to Cora. But Cora was always angry, and did not even talk to her sister properly. We found out about Cora's life. Now, the scene shifts to the police station again. There her sister asks, Cora, whose blood is this? Tell me, only then can I help you. Here Cora tells about a man named Abel. She says that Abel was a part of our group. One day, he came to meet me in the cafe, and we became friends. Abel had lost his daughter, who died due to drowning in the pond. Her body was found by the police a few days later. I thought that Abel would understand my situation, because he had also lost someone. He told me that he had seen his daughter. Hearing this, Cora's sister says, how can anyone see dead people? Cora, are you still drunk? She says no. Cora continues her story again. She says that one day, I was alone at home. Abel came to my house. He told me that he has a way, by which he can bring back my son. I will be able to see him. I can touch him, because he himself, successful in bringing back his dead daughter. I did not believe him. I threw him out of my house. Her sister asks, Cora, what did Abel want? She says that he had brought his daughter back to life. He had brought her back from the dark world. When Cora's sister asks her, how was that? She had fear on her face. Cora tells her that from the place where people go after death. Her sister, the police officer, starts laughing. She says, how can this be, Cora? I myself found her dead body. I have seen his daughter dead with my own eyes. Cora says, no, you do not know. Go and check her data now. Abel's daughter now lives in another city. He has also changed the name of his daughter. His daughter is in this world. I had seen all this with my own eyes. When I was convinced, I went to meet Abel one day. I asked him, how did you do all this? Abel told me that a woman had told him all this. About magic, the ritual. What kind of magic is this, enduring for numerous days? And if a person becomes successful in this, then he can bring back his dead child. Just believe in it while doing it. He wanted me to become a part of his magic. My son's greed made me do all this. I had nothing to lose. That's why I was ready to support him. I thought, but you can try, right? Now when I agreed to do that magic, Abel told me to bring some stuff, which had a lot of salt, candles and chains. He also told me that there will be no electricity, and no telephone in the house, which could have any effect on magic. As soon as he told me, I did everything the same way. Abel also told me to bath in special salt water, 
Due to this, all bad thoughts and bad thoughts will end. I started making fun of this. Abel told me, this is not a joke. If you make fun of these things, then forget your son forever. Hearing this, I told him, I will believe in everything. I asked him, you have got your daughter, right? So why are you so sad? He was worried about this and told me that now my daughter is with her mother. I said, are you joking with me? Aren't you using me in anything? He says, no, I just have to complete the work. Then I will get my daughter. He made a circle of salt and tied me with a chain. He started reciting evil spells. He had written every evil spells. What he said, I repeated that. In the end, my courage was ended up. I told him, that's enough, now open me. But Abel kept reciting evil spells. He did not stop reciting evil spells. Suddenly I started floating in the air. And suddenly I fell on the floor. I was also convinced that all this is possible. I can get my son back. Now the next part of magic was the invitation. We both recited evil spells together. My house started shaking. The candles were blown out. And suddenly the sun also disappeared. I started feeling a little strange. I understood. We are trying to open the door of that world. Which is a big danger for a living person. The next morning, my friend came. Who used to take an illegal substance with me. When he saw me and Abel together at home. Then he felt as if there is a relationship between us. He stole money from Abel's wallet. And he told me harsh things and left. Now, our next step was grief that is sorrow. Abel told me that it is a little difficult. But I was also ready for this. We started this work. Doing all this, I went back to my old memories. The day my son disappeared. I saw my visions in my thoughts. That he came to me. At that time I was drunk. So I could not say anything to him. My son left the house in anger. I saw my visions in my thoughts. A van driver is abducting him and driving him away. I tried to save him. But there was a black shadow behind me. Which was a shadow of my grief and anger. That shadow took me to the place where the kidnapper kidnapped my son. When I saw my son in such a state. I started screaming. But then a scary demon came. And put his hand on my face. He told me that if you want to get your son back. Then you will have to control yourself. The scene shifts to the police station. Cora was telling this story to her sister officer. But it was very difficult for her to believe all this. She says, Cora, are you still drunk? She says, I am not lying. I saw all this through that ritual. That kidnapper did a lot of harm to my son. Now it is your responsibility to find my son. Cora's sister officer leaves from here. Now a lady officer came to her. Who tells that yes, Cora is telling the truth. Abel's daughter is alive, who lives with her mother. Hearing this, Cora's sister was worried. Now the story goes back from here. It was the last day of Cora's ritual with Abel. Abel tells Cora that today we are going to make a deal. But he did not tell Cora what the deal was. He tells Cora that whatever happens, do not go out of the circle. And if anyone breaks the rules, everything will go wrong. Today Abel had to be tied with chains. After a while, it seems that as if some strange dark power has possessed Abel in his control. At that time, strange things started coming out of his mouth. In which bones, hair and blood were included. Seeing all this, Cora screams in fear. She had broken the circle and comes out of fear. After a while, when she went inside the house again, Abel was lying lifeless on the ground. He suddenly attacked Cora, also says that you have ruined everything. I had forbidden you, but suddenly a dark power had pulled Abel into the dark. Now that dark power comes to Cora, and tells her to complete this ritual, and also says that if she does not do this, then forget your son. Cora was still not able to understand here. What Abel had told her, he was not of anyone else, but he was going to make a deal of Cora with a demon. In the next part of the ritual, she brings a goat now. She had locked her in a room, she came back to the room again to complete the magic. This time, reading the evil spells, in her visions and thoughts, she had reached strange fields. There she meets Abel, who tells her to eat meat, and gives her to drink blood in a glass. Cora had to do all this. After which she will be able to meet her son. But it was very difficult for her to do all this. Abel gets very angry at her for these actions. He tells Cora here that actually that dark power, needed a body for itself. It was your body. If this had happened, I would have been able to meet my daughter. My ritual would have been complete. But Cora, you ruined everything. Because Abel himself had died due to his dark magic. Cora comes back to her real world. Where a demon, that is, the dark power, which Abel wanted to give a body, is behind Cora. He says that if you don't give me a body, then your son will be in a lot of trouble, Cora. She wanted to get her son somehow. That's why she calls her friend and calls him home, with whom she used to take illegal substance often. When he came to her house, Cora threw him in front of the demon. But the demon wanted Cora's body, not her friend's. He was now behind her. 
Cora, like a mad woman, saved her life. She was roaming around the house, and she calls the police to help her. I am in trouble, and this was the same scene that we had heard in the beginning. The story comes back to the present, where Cora's sister was saying to Cora that until the investigation of your case is done properly, you will have to stay in the police station. Cora explains to her sister that the demon is behind me. He will take my life in return for my son. But her sister felt that Cora was safe in the jail. She is saying all this under the influence of illegal substances. Cora finds out that her last time has come. The light starts to blink. There was a sound, the ritual is completed. The demon took Cora's soul with him. Their Cora's sister wants to search her house again, where she was hearing sounds from the cupboard. When she goes and sees, she finds Cora's son there. Just like he disappeared seven years ago. This means that Abel was true. Cora's son came back with his ritual magic, but Cora had to give up her life. Here this film ends.